Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Fias, and uh, patients always ask me, when are my results going to come in? They spend lots of money and lots of time, and they're getting excited to know when they finally will have their hair. Well, I'd like to take you through a little bit of a timeline and talk to you about this a little bit. So, after the post-operative period, between two to four weeks, your scalp will, the redness will be fading, the scabs are long gone, the sutures are out if you had the strip, if the FUE was done, the hair's grown back, it's hidden the donor area, so you're looking pretty, pretty normal. Uh, I tell patients that around a month, you look pretty much like you do uh, before surgery, so you're pretty much back to normal. Then, after two to four weeks, uh, a strange thing starts happening. Your grafts start falling out. And I know we talked to you about that before surgery, but it's always a big surprise when it happens. So yes, it most likely will happen, and it usually happens, as I mentioned, after two weeks, maybe four weeks, sometimes a little longer, but bit by bit, all the hairs, the grafts themselves, will fall out. Now, they're actually not popping out, they actually are just breaking off. So the outer hair uh, above the skin surface is falling out, so you'll see those hairs shedding. And you haven't lost them. Really, the only time you can lose hair is the first couple of days. And when you lose hair the first couple of days, you'll have some bleeding. So when you see hairs falling out after a month or a few weeks even, it's just the hair shedding. So don't be alarmed. Now occasionally you may have hairs that don't fall out, the grafts that is, but they stay put and they don't grow. It's, it's not as common as the other hair types where the hairs all fall out. But if that occurs, don't worry about it. Most of the times they're just pausing and they'll eventually restart growing. And they'll start growing, again, just like everyone else who loses their grafts, around uh, three to four months you'll start to notice the earliest new growth. And uh, most of the time that starts out as real fine, light peach fuzz hair. And it may start on one side first and the other side second, not a big deal. Um, when it does grow in, it's going to grow in very soft and wispy and very short. It's actually quite nice because a lot of patients don't want their friends or colleagues to know they've had surgery. So it comes in very slowly, almost as if you lost the hair. It kind of comes in in reverse. You'll see it coming in very soft and, and subtly, which is great. Now, as the new growth comes in, you, you may notice some pimples where the new hairs are coming in. Now, that is actually not a bad sign, it just means the new hair is coming in. And you may have a dozen to two dozen of these small little pimples coming in, and those are the little hairs making their way through the skin surface. If you get these, the best thing to do um, is, uh, first of all, not worry, and second of all, um, grab a warm compress. Sometimes warm compresses on those areas helps the, the healing. Um, as well, you might want to put, add some topical antibiotic ointment to those areas for a few few days that would will help that out quite a bit. Now as I mentioned the first three to four months will be the first times you'll start to see growth and from there the hairs will continue to grow um, longer and thicker and stronger. I always relate it to a tree as uh, the tree is very thick at the base and as it goes taller it's skinnier so you'll notice that uh, the longer the hair grows the, the older it gets the, the hair will get thicker the base actually will grow out. And so around six months, we typically encourage you to come into the office to, to evaluate. It's just a routine exam, just to see how things are looking. At that point, you'll see a combination of fine hairs, thicker hairs growing out. Around eight to nine months, you'll notice probably about 50% of the overall result. And what that is, is you'll have a, a group of hairs that are, most of the hairs at that point are out. Um, some of them are still very short though, very peach fuzzy as I mentioned to you. A lot of them are longer and a lot of them are thicker. So there's actually three components. You want the hair to first of all be out, you want the hair to grow longer, and you want the hair to grow thicker. So that's why it takes all these months for the hairs to completely come out and for you to have your complete result. So even though you don't see hair all at once in the beginning doesn't mean you, you won't have results at the end. So typically the, the end result is around 12 months where the hair will be long enough to where you've had a haircut or two and you'll have the complete result. Now, as people say, your results may vary. So the same is true with hair transplant surgery. Some people I've seen results, full results at nine months. Others I've seen all the way at 18 months. Typically though, 12 months is a really good benchmark and most of our patients have uh, the great majority of the results by then. So kind of put that on your calendar 
and shoot for that time to not get too worried about your results until the 12-month mark. Hope this has helped. Thank you.